Hi everyone. Today's tech tip is going to show you the few steps that you need to follow if you are interested in adding a voice recording to a Google Form. I thought it was a great idea. It was a question posed to me by a colleague, and I thought immediately of all of the students that this could possibly help, whether they are English language learners or have some um, learning disability, or they're very young, maybe elementary aged, uh, I thought this could be really useful. Uh, it does involve a few steps because if you've used forms before, actually Google Slides is quite similar, there isn't um, a feature inside of that program, at least not yet, that allows you to um, insert a voice recording um, right from the site. So, couple of things to do first. First, I found, I don't know if you can see my shortcuts up here, it's very small, but it looks like a microphone and a musical note. Um, I have been exploring the Google Chrome extensions um, quite a bit, and across here are many of the extensions that I use pretty regularly. I have a shortcut to Google Drive, this one is Screencastify, and this one right here is um, a site that will allow me to record my voice and save it as an audio file. It was free. So I'm going to click that and it opens up a new window and it's really user friendly. You cannot make a mistake. You simply press record and press stop. That's about it. So let's pretend I had question one for my form ready to go. I'm going to click record. Question one, how are you feeling today? As soon as I hit stop, what I'll see down here is the word recordings followed by this uh, seven second audio file. And if you scroll all the way to the right, click the three dots and choose download. That will download this WAV file and I'm going to rename it. So I'm gonna show it in Finder. I'm working on a Mac, so this might look a little bit different than if you're working on a PC. Uh, there it is. So there's this long, crazy file name. I'm just going to rename it to question one. And enter. Whoops. I, of course, I already have question one. We'll call it question 1A. Oh, well, and now I can copy that file and paste it into my Google Drive. So I'm going to control C to copy. I do have a shortcut to my Google Drive here on my laptop, but if you don't, you would go into your Google Drive. Um, I had created inside Google Drive a folder already called audio. If you don't have that folder yet, you can create it. Otherwise, just uh, paste the file right here in your list of Google Drive documents. I'm going to put it in my audio file folder, so I'll just double click that to open it. And now control V to paste, and there's question 1A um, audio file. So now I know that's in my Google Drive. Now I want to check it out. So if I go, I have a tab open here for Google Drive. We only need to make sure that um, the file is shareable. So if I go to Drive and scroll down to my audio folder, whoops, passed it. There should be question 1a there it is question 1a so if i click on the file uh, i can click the paper clip to get a shareable link so when i tap that i will see that link sharing is on i think that is the default so just make sure that this is um it, it's going to allow you to share the url that it provided for you so i'm going to highlight this whole thing and Control c to copy uh, and that's what I'm going to share right inside my form. So now if I go to my, I opened up a blank Google form a few minutes ago. And, you know, we'll call this, you know, quiz or something. I don't know, whatever the title of your thing is. And all you have to do to put that audio file in, you have a choice. You can just add the audio file uh, or you can type out the question and you can say, how are you feeling today? Oops. And then right next to it, we're going to paste that link. So there it is. It looks a little bit bizarre here, and you can't really 
edit this font too much uh, to make this long link more hidden. Uh, however, when we go to preview this form, how you know our viewers will see it, click the little eye icon, that's the preview icon inside Google Forms, and it shows that question one has text, which says, how are you feeling today? Followed by a link. And if the student clicks on that, it will open up the media player from their browser and they can simply press play and listen to it. So I thought that was an excellent feature. Uh, it does involve a couple of steps. And if you have questions while you're working, um, please don't hesitate to email me. This was something that I just learned myself. I had done it a little bit in Google Slides. So same thing, if people have questions about adding voice narration to Google Slides, the process is quite similar. Don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. Um, hopefully this will be useful to you. And if you have any further questions, you know where to find me.